Yo, oh, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks from books to make your world that little bit more <whistles> magical. And today I've got some nice coin magic and that is coming up. So there you saw in that little intro, some moves and techniques you can learn from all these books. Bobo Coin Magic, which if you haven't got, is a must have. And Rudenstein Coin Magic, which is absolutely awesome. Possibly the heaviest book in magic. And I've got a couple of little tricks from Al Manic, Richard Kaufman, which is a fantastic book as well. This trick I'm gonna show you is actually by Jay Sankey. And there's another one in here, which is also a very nice effect. Before I do something a bit different today, get away from the cards, get back into the coins. I've also been working on other routines and tricks. Tavaro Rope Magic, I'm working on that one at the moment, and also some card effects from Card Control. So look out for that one. So, let's get into this little effect from Richard Kaufman, our manic. Also, I've blended it in with a bit of, well, J Bobo coins to glass. There's a few different techniques and moves I've also learned from the Rubenstein coin magic. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you after. Now here's something very interesting. I have a two pound coin, an English coin, a UK coin. Now if I place this coin over here on the table, what is special about it is you can actually make it look like uh, it splits into two coins, one, two coins by magic. Now if I take these coins and place them in a horizontal row, like so, do it again, the coins split. That's one, two, three, four coins by magic. Now I used to work in a money-making factory, but the machine just kept breaking down, and to me, that made no sense. Now I'll take four coins, place them in the hand, like so. Four coins over here. Watch as coin number one <laughs> travels to the glass. That's three coins over here. One coin over there. Three coins go in the hand. One coin in the glass. Watch coin number two as it goes up the arm, across the shoulder, and <laughs> into the glass. That's two coins there and two coins over here. Watch two coins in the glass. The third coin <laughs> travels across just like magic. Now the last coin, this coin here is now going to join these three in the glass. Watch as it goes up the arm, across the shoulder and into the glass. That's four coins travel from one hand to the glass. Now I said to my missus, what would you like for your birthday? She said, oh, some chocolate and a surprise would be lovely. I thought, well, Kinder Egg it is then. Now, if we take this coin over here, place it in the hand like that, there's the coin, we'll take this pen and we'll place the pen through the fist, like so, and a little wave, like magic, and the coin actually vanishes into nothingness. You know what, I paid 20 pound for a three mile taxi ride to the laundrette the other day. I feel like I've been taken to the cleaners. And that was called Cartesian, 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 Cartesian coins, Cartesian coins. And that's by Sankey and Kurtz, which is a really nice little production of some coins there. It just looks like you're splitting them into two. And that is actually on page 108 of Almanac. 
And the last effect there that you saw with the coin vanishes actually on page 83. So check that one out if you've got the book. If you haven't got the book, I just hope you enjoyed the tricks. The coins to glass, which you can learn from Jay Bobo, the man himself. And there was a couple of little moves there that I've learned from Ruben Steel Coin Magic. So I hope you enjoyed that little routine. Please let me know in the comment section what you thought. So I want to get into this nice little effect. I've covered this one before. This is called Impromptu Hitman, and it's on page 22 of Ruben's World. Check it out. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, this is nice. You have a coin and a pen. Now, place that pen over there, take the coin, a little wave, and the coin vanishes, slim with two empty hands. A little wave again, and now it comes back. I'll just give that coin a little rub, it becomes the pen, and now the pen is the coin. <laughs> if I take this pen, mm -hmm. what's the coin? In the hand. A little wave, gone. Over here. <sighs> so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Some nice bits of coin magic there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in that section down below. Also, in our manic, is a really nice signed coin to bottle. If you take the coin from here, you can actually coin here inside the bowl. Completely impromptu, you can do it with a water bottle, whatever you want. I quite like that. If you're new here, I cover tricks from all sorts of books, like Rune Clan, Al Manic, Richard Kaufman, Jay Bobo, Paul Harris, all the greats. So make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. You don't want to miss out on any of them because there might be something in it for you. And I really appreciate it when you guys tell me about a trick that you found in a book. So thanks. I've been Tricks. You've been fantastic. Couldn't do it without you. See you in the next video.